Hello everyone. Today I am here with the PPT of properties of exponent or you can say law of exponent. This will really help you in your school project or any maths project. So please watch the complete video and comment me. Thank you. Let's start with the properties of exponent or as I said you can say law of exponents. The first property is e to the power m multiplication e to the power n is equal to e to the power m plus n. Here we can see base is same and power is different. What is base? Base is e. This is base and m and n is power. So base is same and power is different. So from this property we can say when base is same and power is different then we can add the power and the result will be e to the power m plus n. So if the base is same and the power is different so we will add the power and base will be the common so result will be e to the power m plus n. Let's take one example. 4 to the power 9 into 4 to the power 6 is equal to 4 to the power 9 plus 6. We can write from this formula. Let's take the another example. 4 to the power 3 into 6 to the power 9. Can we use this property in this question? I can say no. A big question comes why no? Because the base is not same. It is different 4 and 6. That's why we will not use the uh, e to the power m into e to the power n formula in this question. Let's come to second property. It is e to the power m divided by e to the power n equal to e to the power m minus n. Again we can see base is same and power is different. Base is e, power is different m and n. So as per second law of exponent we can say if we do division, division of two numbers whose base is same, base means e, base is same but power is different, power is different m and n, then in result we will subtract the power, we will subtract the power, it is m minus n. Let's take one example. 8 to the power 9 divided by 8 to the power 6. Again we can see base is same so we will subtract the uh, power. So 8 to the power 9 minus 6. Let's take another example. 8 to the power 9 divided by 7 to the power 3. Now the question do we subtract the power? As per this no. Completely no. Why? Because the base is different. It is 8 and 7. Now come to the third property. e to the power minus n is equal to 1 by e to the power n. If we have any number with negative power, it is negative minus n. Then we use this property to convert that number into positive power. If we will divide this number by 1, then the power will convert into positive. Let's take an example. 2 to the power minus 3. If we will divide this number by 1, then power will convert to positive. So in this case, we will use this property. Now come to the fourth property. The fourth property is a to the power 0 is equal to 1. For where a is not equal to 0. a should be any number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 any number but not equal to 0. Here we can see if any number contain power 0 
then the number is equal to 1. But a should not be 0. a should be in number. Let's take an example. 6 to the power 0 is equal to 1. Now come to the fifth property. a to the power a into b inside the bracket to the power n is equal to a to the power n into b to the power n. Here we can see there is a bracket and power is n. It means power n is upon both the number a and b. So we can write separately also that a to the power n and b to the power n. Let's take an example. 5 into 6 inside the bracket whole to the power 2. So we will write separately 5 to the power 2 into 6 to the power 2 also. Now come to the sixth property a divided by b bracket inside the bracket power n is equal to a to the power n divided by b to the power n. Here we can see division of two numbers inside bracket with power n. So we can write both numbers separately with same power. Let's take an example 7 divided by 8 inside the bracket and power is 2. So we can write separately 7 to the power 2 divided by 8 to the power 2. Let's come to 7th property. It is bracket start a to the power m bracket close and again to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n. Here we can say a is m times a is m times and a to the power m a to the power m is n times is n times. It means a is m into n times. So we can write a into m a to the power m m into m. Let's clear with one example. Let's take an example. 2 to the power 3 and complete bracket to the power 2. So we can write this 2 to the power 3 into 2. 2 is 3 times and 2 to the power 3 is 2 times. So we can write 2 to the power 3 into 2. So friends I completed all the properties of uh, exponent. Please write your query in comment. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel and like the video if you understand all the topics. Thank you. Have a nice day.